If you own a pet dog, you should know that almost all of them are born gentle and docile. It is only the education and training they receive that keeps them that way, or on the contrary, that they become aggressive, even dangerous. While some breeds of dogs are easy to tame and train, others can be a challenge for their owners. We are talking here about the so-called, attack, or, defense, dogs which, because of their genetic heritage, are particularly difficult to train. And it is precisely these dogs that we are going to tell you about today. Find out the 10 training sessions for problematic dogs. Beware. They might bite. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all notifications. You've probably seen it in several crime shows. I'm talking about the Malinois, the working dog par excellence. His devoted, lively, and protective character makes him an exceptional dog. In addition to being extremely cunning, faithful, and particularly loving of his master, there is nothing that can make him happier than intense training and obedience sessions. Moreover, one of his greatest joys is to satisfy his master, by accomplishing various tasks and tricks. So, you won't find better as a faithful companion. However, he must as well find in you the, ideal, person, who will know how to encourage him and quench his insatiable thirst for challenge. He needs to be outside, to exercise, to have space around him and above all, he needs you to share his sporting activities. In short, he simply needs you. This dog has amazing learning abilities, which makes its education very easy. But beware, the word, easy, doesn't mean you have to release the brakes. The Malinois also needs a firm and constant education, because he remains above all an extremely dominant dog. You must therefore apply instructions to him with an iron hand in a velvet glove and above all, do not antagonize him. The Malinois Shepherd tends to love in abundance, and therefore to have a particularly developed protective instinct. It happens in certain situations that this dog is excessively determined and overflowing with energy, to such an extent that he could injure himself and sometimes unintentionally injure others. Impressive, is the adjective that best describes this German molasoid. The Rottweiler is a defense dog, and when you say defense dog, you necessarily mean a relatively dangerous dog. This makes him one of the most suitable breeds of dogs for guarding houses. The Rottweiler possesses immense courage, an extremely powerful bite, and a rather dominating tendency. All this makes him need a very strict education and very special training. But despite his gentle, calm, and docile temperament, the Rottweiler is regularly discredited and even appears in some countries on the list of potentially dangerous dogs. In fiction, he is often portrayed as a vicious dog, and in reality, he is frequently involved in incidents of attack. But if he is too aggressive, it simply means that he has received a bad education, that we behaved badly with him, or that we didn't give him enough affection. Moreover, during his training, the people in charge of his training are always equipped with adequate equipment, so that their arms are not torn off. Since his bite is undoubtedly the most powerful of all, its protective instinct, its irreducible character, and its powerful body remain the greatest assets of this breed. The whole. It is to know how to educate it well with just and supervised training. Here is now a breed of dogs that was featured in several great movies, such as, Angel Dog, A Dog Year, or, Duke. The Border Collie is by far the most elegant and beautiful of all defense dogs. Endowed with unparalleled intelligence, this breed's first vocation is to watch over the herds. Strangely enough, this breed of dogs feels an obsessive need to gather herds and keep them with its master. Hence its overdeveloped protective instinct and overflowing energy. Accomplice with his master. The Border Collie is docile, sociable, and rather easy to educate. This is why he is almost always at the top of the obedience and agility contests. For his training, he needs space to exercise and practice activities similar to his vocation as a shepherd. Frisbee sessions, canny cross, games, agility and obedience classes, etc. It is important that his training is regular, because if the border collie remains inactive or locked in a confined space, he becomes unhappy and can develop behavioral problems, thus showing sudden and unexpected reactions. Therefore, his master must devote a lot of attention to him, and give him tasks to accomplish all the time. The Canary Mastiff is native to the islands of Tenerife and Gran Canaria in Spain. It is therefore very hot-blooded. Fighting dogs, hunting, guarding, or shepherding, the Dogo Canario is very versatile. Being part of the Molasoids, it has an elongated body, a massive head as well as highly developed temporal and masseter muscles. He has a rather calm, endearing, and impetuous temperament. They are courageous, dynamic, but can also be aggressive and insensitive to pain. Nothing scares him and that's the problem. The Dogo Canario must not have just any master. 
not to receive just any education. It must be socialized at a very young age and nothing must stimulate its innate aggressiveness. A strong relationship with his master and adapted techniques will give him a successful education. As for his training, it must take the form of regular sports activities including running and attack training, because he remains above all a fighting dog. Yet another hound with a strong character. Very imposing by its musculature and its athletic look, the Cane Corso is an excellent guard dog that will defend its master. Intelligent, gentle, and loyal. This dog is considered potentially dangerous, even though it is excluded from the law of January 1999, which prohibits in France the possession of several dangerous dog breeds. The Cane Corso is brimming with energy and has a constant need to expend it. He has the particularity of barking a little too much when he takes his role as a guardian seriously. He, therefore, needs adequate training to teach him to attack only when his master is really in danger. The Cane Corso also has a dominating character, which makes its education quite difficult. Also, he does not tolerate very well the presence of other dogs around him. However, if he receives a good education, his natural aggressiveness can diminish with time, he will then learn to better control his reactions and defensive impulses. As you can see, during training, the Cane Corso is taught to bite dangerous individuals or to attack them from the front to make them fall, with the strike muzzled. This technique is an alternative means of biting, allowing to intervene in strict respect of self-defense. It teaches the dog to defend and defend itself by using impact with the help of a well-studied reinforced muzzle to protect the animal during training. Here is the most British of the mutts. The band dog was formerly called in England, Banday, which means chain, as you may have guessed. This is because its masters must absolutely keep it always tied up, or only released in the evening. A guard dog par excellence. The band dog possesses an extraordinary intelligence, and benefits from a highly developed musculature, as well as incredible agility despite a weight of almost 70 kilograms. You must surely have noticed it by the sight of his huge and impressive jaw. Because of this, he is one of the forbidden dogs in many countries. But for those who allow it, the band dog must imperatively receive the most draconian education, as well as intensive training. This will allow him to spend his excess energy wisely and specially to perfect his attacking qualities, as you can see in the following pictures. Dangerous, bloodthirsty, or aggressive. This is how the Argentinian Dogo is described. But did you know that beyond this not very, rewarding, reputation, there is a most exceptional dog. The Argentinian Dogo was created in the 1920s in Argentina by crossbreeding, with the aim of hunting pumas and wild boars. This hound can measure 65 centimeters and weigh almost 50 kg. It's trump card. An ultra-powerful jaw that can scare off more than one. It is a very intelligent dog with a firm and energetic character, which is easily bored and therefore often gets into trouble. It is therefore imperative that he receives appropriate education and training, and that his master makes him do various activities that suit his needs. He is very helpful, constantly seeking to satisfy his master. He must therefore be trained in obedience and practical use. Contrary to appearances, the Argentinian Dogo is very sensitive to severe treatment and should not receive any corporal punishment. He is however very receptive to positive reinforcement during training. Training must therefore be punctuated with rewards. In case he misbehaves, corrections should be gentle but frequent and firm, so that he does not deviate from the right path. This is the only way he will learn to react well in difficult situations. Despite this, the Argentinian Dogo is still a dog that learns quickly and makes very rapid progress, which makes his training easier every time. It is known. There is no better fighting dog than the Pitbull. A cocktail of three breeds chosen for their aggressiveness, muscularity, and weight. The Pitbull was developed in England in the 1800s and was then exported to the United States. Considered a very dangerous breed, the Pitbull has been banned in several countries including France. Super muscled. It is first and foremost a fighting dog, created to attack and kill. Moreover, its main function at the time was to fight bulls and bears in arenas to entertain the public. Recently, it has been associated with numerous attacks, bites, injuries, disfigurements, amputations, and even deaths. Better not be in a dog's mood. However, the pit bull remains jovial and dynamic if he receives a good education and adequate training. In the United States, for example, they are trained like professional athletes to maintain their jaw and body muscles. The program includes jumping, climbing walls, high jumps, heavyweight moving, running, swimming, in short, a real athlete. So, what do you think of these 10 forbidden dog training? 
Which one impressed you the most? Tell us in the comments.